Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. Last time, we went to the Mushroom Road to get a Runican Death Calf from our mother, and we found it. And we also found the Greater uh, the greater Flight Stone, so we can um, land in any place, pretty much. I went. That's the only reason why I had to go to the Mushroom Road, pretty much. And today, there's more side clans to do, so let's get started. You may be wondering why I'm in Casadonia. Well, we can finish the Antlion Man quest. Oops. Of course, it's important later on. At least for me. Okay... I hope so. Figures. That was easy enough. <laughs> And that's how you get a uh, Gretchen recipe. I don't even know how to say it, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, there's another antlion man out there. Alright, there's another reason I came here. Is to get this bad boy. Whoa! I mean to buy two of them. One's the backup for Luke and I guess another one's for Guy. Oh, I didn't realize it was a lot stronger. And it's a little weaker than the Huh. Sweet. Oh yeah, I can sell that sword to him. I really don't need it anymore. I'm keeping the dragon killer. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, we got a few side quests to do. One in Engave, a few in Sheridan, and one in Ketterberg. Not not Ketterberg. Um that's later on. One in Grand Kokma. We'll do the um shorter ones first, which is Um We'll go in Engave because there's only one there. Man, traveling's a lot easier now. Thank you, God. Wow, it looks different. I don't want to come in from the west. I want to go in from the south. Let's do that. There we go. Talk to Rose. What's wrong? Did something happen? Oh, it's nice to see you all again. As a matter of fact, yes, we have had a little problem lately. Really now? Are the Cheagles up to something again? What exactly has been happening? Well, our fields are being ravaged. Well, that blows. Oh, but it's not the Cheagles. It's some other monsters that are responsible. Huh. Monsters? Are they coming into the village itself? Well, we don't keep a close guard like other towns do. 
This sort of thing has happened before. But most of the monsters around here are no worse than livestock gone wild. And they've never come in packs before, either. So the present incident is being caused by packs of monsters? Well, yes. But they're a completely different kind of monster than we've seen before. The fall of the Outer Lands must have altered the ecosystem. So it would seem. A different species of monster is now going after the crops. Well, that's not good. They're too much for us to handle. Won't the Malkuth army help? So many of the soldiers around here were injured in the fall of the continent. And lately they've been busy staring down the soldiers from Kimlaska. Can't we do something to help them? Yes, though we do have our own work to perform as well. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Really? Thank you. We'll do what we can. Why don't you talk to the people of the village? They can tell you more about the monsters. Okay, let's hurry up and take care of those monsters. Yeah! A tank gourmet apple. Oh, don't need that. Wait, I need to check some. I need more potatoes. Do you have any potatoes? Yes, you do. There we go. Let's go. This apple will help. They should be somewhere around here. Okay, let's see if we can lure them out. Rose, we'll take care of the rest. You should head on back. Okay, good luck. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put the apple down. Everybody ready? Yep, as ready as we can be. Do you think they'll really come? Well, from what they said back at Engave, it sounds pretty certain. Wow. How ferocious. There are too many of them. I'm scared. It seems we're surrounded. To get this frenzied at the sight of a single apple, they must be quite starved. Here they come. Well, here we go. There are seven rounds of this. And wow. I thought I did pretty well there. You moved too much. You that was easy. They do get str rel relatively stronger, so be careful. Wow, those were weak. Don't get careless. And here's round two. Let's try to get through these as quick as possible. Wait, it could be five or seven rounds. I don't remember. They're getting stronger. If this keeps up, we... Oh, don't say things like that. <laughs> don't worry. If worse comes to worst, I'll protect you. Aww. Aww. How cute. Now more to beat down. Uh, that was round three. It's just as you said, Guy. They just keep coming. They seem curiously organized. I suspect there's something behind all this. Well, there's only one way to find out. Keep beating them all down. You're dead. 
these guys. These, oh, worker bee. There we go. Too easy. They've got to be getting nervous, too. At this rate, they're not going to get to the apple. Do you think so? It feels to me more like we're being tested. I don't like the sound of that. And neither do I. <laughs> Round five. I'll destroy you. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> and they all go down. Oh, they make this way too easy. There we go. That's your best. Are we done yet? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? Okay, I'll stop that. <laughs> Is there no end to these attacks? How many of them can there be? I don't know, but however many there are, either we get rid of them or they get rid of us. Round six. Oh, I know these guys. They're from Aramis Spring. I think. I think so. I don't remember. That's your best. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Of this. I hate these guys. Well, it seems you're in luck. From the tension in the air, I would suspect these to be the last of them. Well, I certainly hope so. I'll destroy you. Yeah, these guys are pretty strong. Wow, talk about wailing on me. Ouchies. Yeah, get away from me, bitch. Oh, there's two of them. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Take that. Oh, that was close. Well, that's the last of them. Is it over? It would seem so. What was with the hordes of those things, anyway? I was shocked to see such different species of monsters forming a pack. Not to sound like Jade, but it bothers me too. I hope there's nothing more to it. But it seems like this incident has been taken care of. It does indeed. For now. Then let's be happy about it. The people of Engave will be relieved to hear the news as well. I'm so glad it worked out! Right. There's no point in worrying over what we don't know. Let's go report back to Rose. And there completes this quest. Everyone, I'm glad to see you're all safe. There were a lot, so it was a little tough. But we got rid of all of them. Thank you so much. It's not much, but... 
Please accept this as thanks for saving the village. Obtain Rose's Charm. My son gave me that to commemorate my becoming the mayor of the village. He said it represented his wishes for my health as I protected the village. Sweet. But then the war came along, and he... Kicked the bucket? We couldn't take such an important thing from you. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Don't worry. If anything, it belongs to you for protecting and gave. Thank you, Rose. We'll treasure it. But would your son approve of our carrying it? Don't worry. If he couldn't grow vegetables here, he'd be out of business too. Business? Yes. When the war came along, he got spooked and ran right off the battlefield. These days, he's selling vegetables out in Casedonia. Oh, okay. He's not dead. Well, we're done here. Let's go to another place. Where should we go? Um, let's go to the Grand Kokma. There's one specific quest I need. To, I want to do, which unlocks another quest in Caterberg. There it is. <laughs> What? There we go. Head to the mansion, not the mansion, the palace. I always love Grand Kokma. It's like the It's very soothing, I guess. Well, maybe it's because of the waterfalls. Would you want to live in a city like this? I certainly would. <coughs> Sorry about that. We need to see Emperor, Emperor Peony. I think he's in his room. I forgot to show off something before, too. Uh-oh. Gilda? Saphir? What the hell? Well, there's another capacity core. There we go. Jeffrey, Jade, Saphir, Aslan, and Gelda. Yep, there are five rat pigs to look for. The first one... ...is right over here. Last one. There's one in the throne room. Or the audience hall, I should say. Man, that's a diff.
You can see it right there. Gelda is Nebulum, just to tell you guys. And Sephir is obviously Dist. Okay, third one should be over here. I can't miss this one. Um, I think I need to head downstairs. Nope. Yeah, I need to head downstairs. Before the fifth one can show up, you have to find the fourth one. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right here. No, he doesn't, pretty much. Seems kind of, you know, weird. And there's the fifth one. Yep. Alright, let's go to the Emperor. <coughs> uh, sorry guys, just something in my throat. If anyone makes a crack out of that, well, beatings shall happen. No, not really. Obtain spawn membership. <laughs> Jade has received the Emperor's best friend title. Pretty good title. Makes it so it's like, um, you pay for less than the shop. If you're on a second playthrough or more, talk to this maid. Wow. Don't these look awfully familiar? Abyss Man, really? Really? One for Ash? Well, we did City Abyss Silver in his title. Lucas sees Abyss Red, Tear Abyss Black, Jade Abyss Blue, and it's Abyss Pink, Guy Abyss Orange, Natalia Abyss Green, and Ash Abyss Silver. Pretty fancy. But I'll never wear their style. They look ridiculous. If you guys want to wear them because you like them, go for it. The Emperor's Ideal Woman. Really?
Yeah, I guess not. I mean, what the hell? Okay, I think we're done here. Let's get the hell out of here. I think we can go straight to the Ketterberg Spa. Even though they say it's under construction, but once we get there, it's pretty much done. Prepare for funny scenes. Just saying, guys. To Ketterberg we go! I think we're gonna skip, skip Sheridan for now. Maybe. Don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's look for Ketterberg. Here we go. Wait, which side am I on? I don't want to be on this side. I want to be on this side. There we go. See, I can land in the snow now. Four? I couldn't. Let's see if the spot's ready. Which I'm sure it is. <sighs> there we go. Oh, jeez. Yeah, his moment is pretty obvious. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Luke has received the Tower Boy title. <laughs> I thought you were someone's lost child. <laughs> That's funny. And it's received not a kid title. Natalia was received the for Tropical Butterfly title. Guys yeah, received the Iconic Aquatic Ape title. Woohoohoo! He did. Rental Beauty title. <laughs> I kinda wonder what kind of jumpsuit was, was it too. And Guy. I mean Guy. Jade. Resort King title. And that's all of them. And that's how you get little swimsuit titles. But if we go in again... We get another scene. A funny one. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> That's funny.
Really, Annis? <laughs> Ouch. The <laughs> guys received the Naughty Devil title. <laughs> Yeah, guy, you need to learn to keep your mouth shut. Swimsuit competition. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, we got the funniness out of the way. There is a third part to this, but I forgot how to do it. If I remember how to do it, I'll probably show it next time in the next set, uh, part. So let's go to Sheridan. Wait, I think we need to go to the harm. Yeah, I remember now. We got to go to Ketterberg Island Port, which shouldn't be too hard. It's right over here. Oh crap! I want to run into that. Hey, leave me alone. I think it's over here. Wow. I don't remember. Son of a bitch. Oh well. Last part of Sheridan and we'll end it for today. There's not much to do in Sheridan. I think there's only actually there's only one thing to do in Sheridan. Oh no, there's two things. I don't want to go in that way. So we'll go in this way. Back it up. Oh crap. Come on, turn around. Yeah, fuck it. There we go. First off. Head up here. And... No. Yeah, it's up here. Go over here to the rocket tower. I don't know why they call it the rocket tower, but... Wait, do I go inside or go up the elevator? Oh, I go up the elevator. My bad. Going up. And talk to this guy. Just a little side thing. So are you the ones who dropped the outer lands into the cliff off? Yes, that was our work. I see, I see. Must have been tough. Good work! Hey, thanks. You're not upset? Why should I be? The environment changed. The sky is higher up. Doesn't all that affect your experiments? <laughs> You're quite kind, aren't you? I suppose looks can be deceiving. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving, huh, Luke? Yeah, no kidding. But how can you remain so calm? A change in surface altitude would completely disrupt the environment. I know I'd be angry. Well, as it happens, I heard about you all from Eamon. He said you were pretty tough. Eamon. 
So, if our project succeeded, we figured we'd let you ride the prototype. Really? Our project? Yes, Iamon was involved with this project as well. Although, to be more accurate, I quit the Albior team. Huh. Huh? So you helped make the Albior too? Up to a point. But after we got the theory of flight, I wanted to aim even higher. You wanted to pass beyond the sky? Through the stratosphere? Yes. At that point, getting the Albior off the ground was just a matter of time. My engineer spirit couldn't be satisfied with that. So I set my sights higher. I wanted to be the first to fly above the sky. So that's why you built a tower out here. It's true. The sky has grown more distant with the fall into the cliff off. But the greater the obstacles, the greater the satisfaction. Hell yeah. You all still have things to do, don't you? Yes. Then go take care of them. Afterwards, you'll all go up in my prototype. I know Iaman and the others will be watching. Yep. Right. We'll do our best. That also helps bring prices down. Yeah, there are certain quests that actually bring prices down in shops. Lawman does the same thing. It actually goes down to the base price. For all items. Which helps. Um... Two more things. One here, and there's an item I want to get back in Ketterberg, which I forgot about. <laughs> then I'll head to stop, and I'll save right outside of it. Well, I'll end it right there, I mean. Talk to the little cheagle. This is the contamination effect. Part 2. Uh huh. Yeah, he has an ulterior motive. Yep. Wow. What could it mean? What could it mean? I'm not too sure. Well, I know, but I can't tell you guys. It'll become somewhat relevant later on. Alright, one last place. Um, we need to head back to Ketterberg real quick. Because there's an item here I want. Because it'll be quite useful for the next dungeon. But we can't go through the... The snowstorm, so we'll have to go this way. I think it's this way. this way. There we go. I think this is it. This is one I want. Okay, ignore the enemies here. There's no point. We'll come back here later for something special. Just head this way. 
Make sure that collapse. And head this way. See? There's a sword sticking out of the water. Out of the ice. Receive Warpril Sword! Which will be very useful, even though we lose 120 attack. It will prove quite useful in the dungeon. I don't want to go this way because that leads to another place. Yeah, screw you. Oh, screw you too. Haha, <laughs> later sucker. Oh, what the? That was close. Okay, let's head to Doth and we'll end it there. Oh, that's St. Bina. My name is Hero and I'm having derpy moments. Alright. Let's go to Doth. Save it outside of here just in case there's a scene. And, well, let's end it here. Next time on Tales of the Abyss, we go to Doth and see Ion. Hopefully. So, until then, guys, see you later.